Today we're gonna be making sheet pan nachos. If you have little kids, they're picky eaters, this is a great and easy recipe to make. You're gonna start with tortilla chips right here. Here are my skillet pan, I already cooked ground beef, onions, garlic, salt, cumin, chili powder. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna put some items on top of this sheet over here, and we're going to put it in the oven for just a few minutes. So I'm gonna start with some shredded cheese. I'm going to add beans. I'm also going to add some tomatoes. Over here I have some onions, some cooked onions and pepper. We're only going to top half of the chips. All right guys, we're gonna top with some of the ground beef. Now, if you like spicy, add some jalapenos. We're making an adult side and a kid side. We're gonna put in the oven for five to eight minutes. For the time that the nachos are in the oven, we're going to get some avocados. As easy as it gets, just pop it right out, guys. Okay, this is what I like to do with the avocado. One, two, and I turn around and I go, one, two, three. I do a little, little squares. Then just use a spoon and scoop it up. I'm gonna do one more. Scraping this baby out. Okay, I think it's time to get these babies out of the oven. That looks so good. Let it cool for just a couple seconds and then you're going to add your avocado to the top. We're gonna add a little bit of cilantro to the top. I'm gonna add some lime wedges to the side. And that's it you guys, look how beautiful, colorful and tasty this looks. Which goes just right with the message of my new book, Just Try One Bite. Mm -hmm. Beijos, enjoy it. I hope you enjoy as much as I do. For me personally, the reason to create the book was really this, you know, this understanding that I have had for myself, for my own life, and with my kids that, you know, when you have the conversation of what's good for you, what's not good for you, how food interacts with your body. Uh, of, you know, giving the kids the power of understanding that and practicing that on their own way, uh, most likely you will be setting up your child for a lifelong of good habits. And if they get that, you know, that independence and that power of like, that's why in the book, we give the power to the kids, you know, because then they make their own choices. I congratulate you, my love, my love to your big, beautiful family.